Hey everyone! Welcome to a special episode of Hans Makes It Work. I'm Hans Geistifer, and I have some stuff to share with you. We've got some exciting news this week uh, out of Hanover, Germany, where Agritechnica is being hosted. Uh, Agritechnica is the world's leading trade fair for agri agricultural machinery uh, in the world. So that's taking place currently uh, November 10th through November 16th. And so obviously it's still going on right now at the time I'm making this video. So what we know at this point is there was a concept tractor released from John Deere called the 1RE. Um, so at this point there's uh, very few photos and very limited video of this concept tractor that exists on the internet. Uh, but I thought it would be cool to show you what we do know at this point and then I've taken the time to kind of analyze the pictures and uh, go through and make a list of things that we know and things that we don't know. So the 1RE, it's pretty safe to say that the E stands for electric. The, the fact that the R is in the model name indicates that this should be the equivalent of the 1025R that's made today. So this would be the more uh, deluxe option tractor, uh, you know, and not like the 1023E. So this would be like the more full featured tractor um, from a dimension standpoint, it should be pretty comparable to the 1025R. Uh, we do know that it does have the same size tires at this point on it. Uh, the tires that are visible are the uh, Galaxy Garden Pro R3 Plus tires. Um, and you've seen those on like the 2 Series and maybe some of the others to this point. Uh, and they, are, they have just been recently made, been made available for the 1 Series. Uh, so it kind of makes sense that they put it on this concept tractor. And you know, that be, with it being a concept tractor, you don't know that it will actually become a real thing or not. But they have put a pretty good amount of engineering effort into it, and I think it's pretty safe to say that the looks and styling of this tractor, whether or not there becomes an electric model, this will be part of the future uh, one series uh, regardless. I, I'm willing to bet that. Um, so what we know at this point, I've kind of made a list of some things, uh, which I'll go through with you here. The redesign of the 7 and 8 series tractors uh, is kind of what led this new design. And the, if you look at the styling of those, this obviously matches that. Um, there is a, a newer seat, maybe with a different type of fabric on it rather than a vinyl. It uh, looks kind of a, like a deluxe seat. It is a, uh, looks to be adjustable. I can see a uh, lever at the bottom for adjusting the uh, position front to rear. Uh, there is a new rounded uh, folding ROPS on it. You can see the hinge in the back, but it, uh, the tubing is round. Um, on the tractor, there is a larger dash screen that's visible. And from what I can tell, there's only three real controls on the dash. So you have like maybe an on-off type of switch, something comparable to an uh, ignition switch, but for electric. Uh, there's a light switch and a PTO switch, and those are the only things that I can see. And I'm um, making some assumptions that that's what those are, but out of the three controls you would have, that's kind of what makes sense to me. There is some newer LED lighting from the, for the front and the rear and also on the ROPS that's visible. Uh, it has uh, some nice styling to it. Uh, we can see that there's a parking brake and it's probably likely that it's an internal wet brake system, same as uh, what the current one series uses. I think it's also probably likely that the rear end is likely to be the same. Um, what we don't know about it is there, there's still a hump in the middle in the operator station, so I don't know if the electric motor would actually be in the rear or in the front with a drive shaft powering the pump, uh, but that hump does still exist, so speculation on that. Uh, from the rear, you can also th see that a three-point rock shaft is on the tractor, although the three-point hitch arms are not there, the rock, the rock shaft is, so it's safe to say that this will be uh, capable of a three-point hitch, uh, which also would be expected, and I think I can see the stub of a rear PTO shaft. Uh, we know that it's got power steering because there's a, a hydraulic cylinder visible under the under or to the rear of the front axle, uh, so that's also expected. 
So as far as controls on the operator station, you can see where the controls are in similar places as today, but they're a little bit different. There's a redesigned hydraulic control lever on your right. Um, there's also another lever there, which I assume is probably the four-wheel drive control. Uh, previously it was down lower, but now it's more like by the seat. And on the left side, there's another lever, which we're assuming is still for the uh, PTO selection. There's four hydraulic outlets on it. So same as today, so you'd also along with that, you would assume that it'd be capable of using a loader and also uh, front attachments like uh, the front quick hitch and the angling cylinder kit and anything that you can attach to that, like the front blade, snow blower, brooms, things of that nature. Um, on the left hand side of the tractor, it looks like there's a charging port on the, the, the left side and it's likely that under the hood are where all the batteries are. Um, out of the pictures and videos that are available, which is limited, uh, I didn't see a diff lock pedal, but I think it is likely that a diff lock does exist somewhere. Uh, we'll see, I just don't have the angles that it can confirm that on. Um, that's what we know at this point, and I think that that's at least, uh, you know, it's nice to know those small details that are uh, available through the pictures and videos. Those are just some conclusions I'd made, I've made uh, from looking at those things that I thought would be worth sharing. So we've got another video here uh, that has to do with the styling of the new series of tractors. It's not necessarily focused towards the 1R, however it is focused towards these new uh, style tractors and you'll get some ideas as to where the, some of the styling efforts have come from. For the design of the new 7R and 8R tractors, we worked with some of the world's leading experts. Together with BMW Design Works in California, we've developed some great ideas. It started with a simple stroke of a pen. The pen sketches were converted into digital design data and then refined with the help of computer-aided design before the first 3D models emerged. Every detail mattered in our development process. Only materials of the highest quality were selected and processed with passion. The finish, decidedly premium. The ergonomics, unmatched. We paid attention to and optimized every detail to develop these new tractors to perfection. The initial visual impression of the new 8R already tells a compelling story. Lines that powerfully speak of the forward-thinking attitude these tractors express. Pulling power that stops for nothing and technology that moves modern farming forward. A closer look reveals the physical design elements that convey the promise of what these tractors are capable of. Extra wide air intakes tell of the sheer amount of power that is going to be generated under its hood. Setting a new standard for its class. Distinct design details like the low position door handle, wider steps with two width settings, convenience lights, and integrated front and rear cameras help deliver on the 7R and 8R's promise. Welcome to Bold. The new 7R and 8R series tractors from John Deere. Unstoppable. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this video, and as we learn more details about this tractor, uh, I will definitely uh, continue to make videos about whatever those details are and keep you in the loop. Um, being that it's a concept tractor, there's no guarantee at this point that it is going to be a real production model. However, I think that it is likely, uh, based on what I know about it so far and some of the things that I've been able to research on the internet. 
So I'll keep you in the loop, but what you got to do to keep getting these updates is you do have to subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, that way you get notified when I release new videos and you'll be able to see uh, some of the new information that comes out. So anyhow, thanks for watching and I hope you found this worth your time. Please give me a like if you liked the video and if you disliked it, go ahead and dislike it as well. Thanks, have a good evening.